Paris. No, I'm here at the uh, Stanford uh, People Center Internet Conference, and I'm talking to Marnu Bartwatch. He's from the State Department, and he was here at the conference. Uh, what? Why is somebody from the State Department here at this healthcare uh, People Center Internet Conference? You know, in the conference is. Uh been something I've been personally involved in. I was one of the uh, organizers uh, of the Secretariat, and uh, we had an international audience here, uh, and it Very reflects nice. uh, the growing awareness of uh, the importance of connectivity and um, the health, education, uh, cross-cutting benefits that it provides all sectors of the economy. Yeah. So, and State Department has an organizing role in the in the to for the whole government, uh, for the whole U.S. government. How does yeah. that work for the people who don't know that? The State Department, U.S. State Department, has the lead on all foreign policy issues and coordinates U.S. positions um, with other U.S. agencies. Um, but in all diplomatic encounters or uh, bilateral, multilateral engagements, the State Department has the lead in the U.S. Yeah. Very interesting. And the, in, in the State Department, or America, has an important role in the organizing the Internet, and you've been involved in that. Um, what did you think of the uh, conference and all the, uh, and all the uh, ideas which were presented here and the, and inter and the inter interactions with the 40 people? It was a huge success. I think that everybody left here uh, with a sense that they would like to see more engagement um, uh, here, maybe at Stanford or at other institu similar institutions where we're uh, talking uh, globally with Silicon Valley leaders and policymakers in DC and everywhere around the world. Yeah. It's really something phenomenal, huh? the worldwide organization of, the, of healthcare. There's, the world is so different. The State Department knows that as nobody else. The world is so completely different at different stages. What is the role of something in Stanford here to organize thought leadership into uh, you know, medical data organization? Yeah, I think that uh, Stanford uh, has a very uh, preeminent medical institutions and uh, a lot of renowned experts, global experts. Um, and there's a real hunger for um, really engaging with uh, academic institutions like Stanford and also the Silicon Valley leaders that were here uh, this weekend um, on a whole set of issues. Um, for me, actually, the focus has always been on internet for development. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a, a, a quite a lot of discussion, uh, particularly today, about how the internet is a key driver to every country's economy and needs to be prioritized on the international development agenda as well as by each country as they develop as they de as they craft their development strategies yeah. there was a lot of talk about that every initiative we have here in uh, in america or in the in the first world needs to be changed if you want to do it on all kinds of other parts i interviewed somebody from south africa in that what do you think is the next step we had a nice conference a lot of ideas everybody's enthusiastic what's the next step I think the next step is going to be um, developing a uh, short-term and long-term vision uh, for what we hope for a people-centered um, internet uh, center at uh, Stanford or someplace nearby. Um, but I think in general there was a great deal of support from everyone that we should continue to work collaboratively and have these dialogues and uh, it absolutely was worthwhile having the high-level uh, attendants and officials that were here uh, today. It was a wonderful conference, lots of interesting people, 100 plus ideas, yeah. which are going to be shared with the world very soon uh, now. So thanks very much for coming. Thank you.